Is addiction a choice or a disease? Well, I'm about to end that debate right now. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And today's problem is the stigma around drug addiction. One of the biggest debates around is that addiction is not a disease, it's a choice. So anyways, it's the last day of Mental Health Awareness Month. Do me a favor and share this video because I am about to drop some logic on some fools. And no, I don't mean the rapper. Damn, this is crazy. So anyways, the argument is it can't be a disease because it's a choice. And for some reason, I don't understand this disconnect where people people can't put together these other diseases that are a result of choices. So let's do something real quick. Let's try something. Let's visit the Mayo Clinic and see what they say are three ways to prevent heart disease. So their top three suggestions are, one, don't smoke. Huh, that sounds like a choice that can lead to a disease. What's number two? Oh, exercise, exercise. If you don't exercise, that can lead to disease. And exercise, that sure seems like a choice to me. And number three, eat a heart healthy diet. So you mean to tell me that if you don't eat a heart healthy diet and you get heart disease, that was the result of a choice. Hmm. Okay, but that's just heart disease. Let's see what's going on with the American Lung Association. So what is the best way to prevent lung cancer? Oh my Lord, it's don't smoke. So if you smoke, you can get lung cancer. That's a choice that leads to a disease. Now, here's my favorite one. This one's brought to us by the CDC about STDs, sexually transmitted diseases. What you'll find is they don't call them sexually transmitted choices. So let's see what's going on over at the CDC. What? Every year there are an estimated 20 million new STD infections in the United States? 20 million people affected by this disease? Well, how do we stop it? Oh, oh, they got some good news for us. STDs are preventable. There are steps you can take to keep yourself and your partners healthy. So the first way is abstinence. Wait a second, abstinence is a choice, isn't it? Huh, and lastly, use condoms. Well, condoms, that sure sounds like a choice too. <laughs> but anyways, everybody, like this is what I'm talking about. Like there's such a stigma around addiction that for some reason, nobody even questions heart disease, lung disease, STDs, when it comes to being a choice that led to a disease. But for some reason, addiction's over here and people say, no, 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 it can't be a disease because it's a choice, all right? Now, here's the thing. I get it, I understand. One of the reasons why people say this and think this and hold on to it with all of their beliefs and everything is because the difference is addicts hurt people that they love. They hurt the people that care about them the most, but that doesn't change the fact that it's an illness. Now, just because it's a disease does not make it an excuse, okay? But anyways, I just wanna make this quick video to end this debate. The debate is over. So again, please share this if you have some ignorant friends who try to debate this with you, all right? But anyways, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are new here, I'm always making videos not only about addiction, but a lot of videos about mental health. Make sure you click that little round subscribe button. And if you wanna check out some other videos on this channel, you can click or tap on one of those thumbnails right there, all right? So thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching. Try to end the stigma today, and I'll see you next time.